to box along to everybody. Hey, right now we are beginning to come back and give you some words of understanding. Well, first off, the Father had me to do this for all the members who was in Mercy Way. He got me to say, I wish all of you would have a prosperous spiritual life. Number one, I give congratulations to my niece who has embarked into the ministry. Congrats to Poochie. Keep on doing a good work, girl. You, 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 you got me smiling. Uh, to all that who used to be in Mercy Way, I give you this. I apologize for my lack of fortitude to really hang on like the leaf in a storm. But we can't cry over spilled milk. And since then, the Father have opened up a lot of knowledge unto me. And like every disciple, it takes three and a half years to really hear and study what the Father is saying unto you. Doors will open and lives will be changed. That through his words, we all can be victorious. So to all the Dashells out there, hey Dashell, my niece, to all the Logans and the Adrians, to all the Taishas and Tanisha, to all the Quanishas, Francescas, Stars, to Danny and all the Dannys out there, to the Josephs that is out there. To the Donnells that is out there. I see this is pure understanding now. To Patricia, who was the mother of my church, that she is no longer with us. She made a statement in the church. And I know most of us laughed it off and thought that she didn't know what she was talking about. But look at us now. Her words was true. Her words was right and consistent. And if she was here, I will let her know that what she said was true. But nevertheless, When you're in a battle, <laughs> you may get knocked out sometimes. You may get knocked down sometimes. But the Father don't look at how many times that the enemy knock you down or knock you out. He look at what you do afterwards. And right now, you know, whenever you know that you're at your most deadliest point because I'm about to come out of my three and a half years and I got some important videos that is coming the first that we're going to be loading up today will be the story of David that is most appropriate because it's going to show you where a lot of the teachings was so far off and so unnecessary 
that it profits you nothing. And that's why I'm also feeling kind of some kind of way because I know my niece, she loved the father with all her heart. And I know she's gonna do all she can to uphold and bring the word that she that she knows and that she's being taught. At this point, I can honestly say that I kick myself because why? She started out up on the hour ministry where she was getting some real foundational teaching. Not a lot of this mess that they done heard and they teach and preach from so many generations. Because I can honestly say that the ministry that you're about to see is not the ministry that the world is ready for. We you surpass religion, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Catholicism, all this Christianity, all this religion. Mm -mm. We above that. We pass. See the. See the. See. See. Listen to me. Listen to me. Yahusha Hamasia hated religion. That's all the Pharisees, Sadducees, that's all the Sanhedrin's brain is religion. Stuff that has nothing to do with spirituality. It's what you call a mixture of the world and the heavens. And they teach you a lot of the image and the idol and not the Ruah or the spirit what is there. So I say unto my niece, I wish that you would embrace some of this what I'm sending you because you want to do what's right and you want to carry this ministry right. Have I carried it right? No. But if I can prevent any other young minister, any other young person who come in this thing to not to make the same mistakes that I made, well, I'm going to sin and I'm going to do it. And right now, I tell you, my three and a half years is about up. What I'm putting out now on these videos is just a taste. It's just a sample. If you follow along on these videos, I beseech you to look and follow along on these videos. Go and get the scriptures. Go and look. And see just how off the world belief is. The world belief has them got so far off of what the plan was. But the father saw that. That's why he made provision earlier before you and I even was thought of. And he changed a lot of things that they don't teach you. <laughs> they don't teach you this in Sunday school. They don't teach you this in Bible study. Because they don't, that ain't profitable. It's not going to make them any money. It's not going to continue to keep you to give that tithe, that offering. Hmm? See, right now, it's all about souls. Why? What I got to lose, what I got to gain. Mm -hmm. So I can go radical right now. I can just totally just stretch out and do what I need to do. And don't have to worry about how my light bill going to get paid, because that's what I work for. Don't have to worry about, you know, is they going to cut the water off, or is there heat in the building, or is it? See, you ain't got to worry about that. Because the Father have taken me out of that. Right now he have given me a platform that I can give out this word. And still. 
have love for everybody. So I say this to everybody. Hey, shalom to you. And watch out for the video. It's about to come. Shalom.